So day one of the 2023 Arnold Strongman Classic has come and gone. We had the first two events of the five events in the whole competition. So we started off with the Wheel of Pain, and then the second one we had the Austrian Log Press. The actual competition is over now about an hour or so. Not even, I'd say. Not even, and we freshly talking about it yeah. right now. It's the first time I think we've ever yes, done it. <laughs> yes, yes. So uh, there was a couple of interesting outcomes in the events. Um, the Wheel of Pain, as accepted, was very hard, yeah. and we I thought it was going to be very hard, and it was. So Mateusz Kielikowski, just less than 18 months, and he's back over 100 feet when it came to the Wheel of Pain. Record at the moment is 119 feet. In second place, then we had Trey Mitchell, yeah. who even though he stammered and, what would you even call it, stopped halfway through yes, the event. Yes, he did, he, he did. And, second. Yeah, and it was a bit of a mistake, so yeah. he lost the momentum. But he's so strong, he was able to push it through, yeah. and he managed to finish in second place. Yeah. And the third place went to Mitch the Hooper. The, the Moose. Moose, yes. Yeah. So Mitch Hooper, on his very first try at the Wheel of Pain, uh, like I think he only did it he said in his YouTube video that he was trying it out for the first time with Jan Todd was that her name yeah like he was uh, saying in his YouTube video that uh, he, the wheel of pain was pretty light yeah but he says he was explaining everyone that it you fatigue it just feels light at the start yeah and then Chod, uh, then Jen Todd walked up to him and says that's actually the female's uh, weight the female's <laughs> weight that's a woman's weight that's the women's weight? Yeah. I was gonna, it feels really good, is what yeah, I was saying. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so it's gonna get heavier, yeah, like, yeah. you know. So that was the strongman Wheel of Pain. Onto the strong woman side, we have a new record in that the first time the Wheel of Pain was ever done by the strong women, and that is Rebecca Roberts, who absolutely smoked the competition. Yeah. Nearly 30 feet in the difference between first and second, over 91 feet in total. Just absolutely crazy. So that was the Wheel of Pain. And then onto the second event, we had the Austrian Log Press. Now, this is where, like you were saying, the controversy or the upsets came into it. There was uh, a, 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 probably the biggest upset of this event was uh, Luke Stolman. Yeah. Everybody expected him to get probably three, four, even five reps on 195kg log. Yeah. But he failed that uh, log and then he had to go on a lighter one on 175 kilos. Luke Stolman probably favored to win the event, yeah. just couldn't lift the log. He could yeah. clean it multiple times. I think it was five times he cleaned it. Yeah. Just could not get the press. He couldn't press it. He, I don't know what was the issue. It seems like his right shoulder was a little bit bothering him. Though that said, on 175 kilos, he did six reps. Yeah. And that's a lot of reps for that weight. It, it didn't seem that it bothered that his shoulder on that weight. You know. Yeah. So uh, hopefully there's nothing serious going on. And maybe it was just... Um, uh, a lack of uh, good warm up when it comes to 195 kilos yeah. you know miscalculation when it, when it comes to that and uh, that there's nothing more serious than that yeah it's like obviously after the wheel of pain as well it's going to be a lot on your body especially two of the same two of them events in the one day only a couple hours between them what? one guy that didn't need leg drive when it came to the Austrian Oak that was Trey Mitchell probably the strongest press I've seen in such a long time just pure shoulder strength uh, we always everybody knows that Trey has very good shoulders like he proved that in Shaw Classic when he uh, I think log pressed 200 kilos for a couple of reps I believe yeah. like everyone's literally failed that weight and uh, I expect him to win this uh, event like to me the biggest surprise apart from Luke Stallman failing it was uh, Mitch Hooper getting three reps yeah. you know and he didn't he didn't look comfortable at all yeah. under that 195 kilos log but he just he's such an explosive guy he has such a strong legs he really leans back yeah. more of an incline press more yes than shoulder press. yes yes and he managed to get three uh, uh, massive reps which really uh, gave him a lot of good points yeah so the points that he lost out obviously on the wheel of pain he gained back on this event one person that lost out on points though from the first event, that was Mateusz Kielowskowski. Yes, Mateusz Kielowskowski lost uh, a good bit of points on a log press. I kind of expected him uh, to get more reps, maybe two or three reps. But at the same time, uh, Mateusz had like four surgeries on his right triceps. And you can see it was very shaky. It, it, it couldn't stabilize at the top. And it just wasn't comfortable. It, yes, it was comfortable yet. So I don't know, will, will the triceps get, will get better? Uh, years to come i i don't know it's very hard to say but at least he was able to press it uh, uh, that big massive weight and uh, 
now he needs just to reassess and see what's 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 next for him when it comes to day two so that's day one of the arnold's over we had the first two events in the wheel of pain and the austrian oak log press so the three leaders at the moment going into day two we have trey mitchell in first with 19 points we have mitchell hooper in second with 16 and a half points and in third place we have mateusz kielikowski with 14 and a half points one person we had an eye on for this weekend that was tom stoneman world's strongest man only a couple of weeks away two-time world's strongest man didn't look like he was in his best shape no like uh, on his youtube channel in his videos he didn't look like he was in shape either you know and uh, uh, he's showing and his uh he's showing in this year's iron classic it you can see that he he's not he's not like uh, i thought in the videos maybe he wasn't showing the the best of his footage you know maybe he was trying to pay uh, i don't know like uh, some sort of games you yeah, know mind yeah. games with other competitors but it's not the case and uh, he really struggled uh, with the wheel of pain and uh, even with the log. Like in his training sessions, I think he got like 195 kilos log for two reps. And uh, today he got like one. Though based on his interview, he was really happy with that outcome. And he thinks uh, on the second day he has more favorable, favorable events and he'll do better. On day two then, we have one event I think everybody has a standout winner for. And that's Pavlo Nakanichny. Yes. Same age myself, probably as wide as the, the room here. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Uh, yeah, like a lot of guys in our comment section, uh, they kind of giving us a bit of a, a bad Hard lip. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when it comes not mentioning uh, Pavlo and his deadlift. Yeah. And most likely Pavlo will win, but Trey Mitchell, he has very good deadlift. And uh, uh, Mitch Hooper as well, he, he he's, he's good at it. And I you see with Tom, we just never know. Yeah, you know, like how how Tom will perform. And unfortunately, Mateusz probably like everyone is saying, will lose a bit of points yeah. in in this event. So Mateusz more than likely is going to finish at the bottom of the ladder tomorrow on the very first event. Most likely because other guys like most of the guys have pretty decent deadlifts. Like they they they're gonna deadlift. Everyone will deadlift most likely over four hundred kilos. Yeah, and Mateusz, Mateusz yeah will be very lucky to get four hundred because he was. Uh, when he in 2018 when he was competing against Thor I think was it yeah he got the 400 yeah points. he got the 400 when the straps snapped yeah yeah so and then he was probably at at the peak of his uh yeah. these four injuries yes. before where he is now yeah right, yeah, so. yeah yeah exactly so unfortunately deadlift will probably hurt him a lot when it comes to points yeah so one eagle eye subscriber notice something in the background something new that we added yes we have this book uh uh, one one guy was asking about what what it's all about uh to be honest it was uh, done by a photographer who uh comes to Arnold classic pretty much every year and he was always uh making photos of big z competing and then uh that year that i first entered the competition and managed to win it yeah my first go he made the book out of it and uh, i think i can find that guy bro this so in this book so I don't know, is he selling it, to be honest, because uh, I was asked that, and all I can say, it's just mostly photos. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not nothing more, nothing less, you know? So it's all photos and uh, short texts. Mark Henry. Yeah, yeah, go with Arnold and stuff like Mark Henry, yeah. So it's kind of nice book. It's good for me to, to remember yeah. my... my uh, so that's it like i i maybe you can find online i actually didn't bother to yeah one guy said he's in it for 100 euro yeah but... yeah i don't know i wouldn't pay <laughs> for that, you know what i mean so i uh so that's it that's the story yeah at least someone is looking at the background yeah like yeah we're, like we're up yeah, yeah 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 uh, so like we were saying it's literally only an hour after the competition is finished we try to get this done as quickly as we could if you're liking the content we're trying to keep as much videos as we can this weekend try to keep as up to date as possible we have the YouTube community going at the moment, putting up posts. Make sure to like and comment them. If you're new to the channel over the Iron Strongman Classic Weekend, make sure to subscribe. If you already are subscribed, make sure to press the bell icon. It'll keep you up to date with everything that's Lalish Brothers. Like I was saying, we'll keep you as up to date as we can with the Iron Strongman Classic for 2023. And we'll see you tomorrow.